Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where last time we had a bit of a problem again. Tried to improve on the design of the Hespheus and it went horribly wrong. Um, little update to that, the, the Kraken struck again. Uh, so after recording I was just letting the parachute fall down. I, I put it on physics warp. Uh, once the parachutes were fully deployed and expanded and everything, thought, right, that'll be fine. It's falling really slowly, so should be okay. Uh, yeah, no. Um, just falling under those parachutes. Crack and struck. The capsule was absolutely obliterated, along with the Kerbal in charge. So, yeah, lost another Kerbal. That brings our grand total up to 15. And the mission costs us about half a million. Now, I'm definitely not giving up on that mission to Eve. Do you have ideas on how to fix it, the Hespheus? Mostly I think I've got to try and land it the other way around. So I'm probably going to do a redesign so that the central engine is temporarily covered as it's coming in. I can then just get rid of that heat shield once we land, mine and everything. But because I'm recording these a little more than a week ahead of release, last time's episode hasn't actually been released at the time of recording. So I want to give a little bit just to get any feedback in the comments, see what other ideas you will have. I had some really helpful comments on Discord already. And so we're just going to put a pin in landing in EVE. I want to try and get some of these other missions done. In particular, I've realised that our satellite currently near EVE is not close enough to the desired orbit here to fulfil this criteria. So we either need to move the current one or just send a new one. Also want to deliver a battery to our space uh, mine around Gilly so that it can finally do this mission. And then that also lets us check these two off, which will give us a nice big chunk of money. Let's keep bringing in money. I'm going to pick up this one, detect two comets. Should be able to do that, no problem. And since we're sending something out to Gilly anyway, I'm going to grab this one, satellite and equatorial orbit. Or I would if I had enough slots. So I'm going to upgrade mission control. Mission control is now maxed out. And we can pick that one up. Yeah, so a lot of missions this is going to be designed to try and accomplish. So I'm just going to start throwing it together here. And I'll catch you once it's sort of done. Here I have a design. This is the HERS, the highly efficient Zeppelin. And it's kind of two rockets in one, designed to do multiple launches, multiple missions in one launch, even. So, right at the top here, we've got our xenon powered uh, telescope. Should be able to get out into uh, the orbit it needs to. It has 13,000 delta V. It's actually showing on the delta V thing, so I'm slightly confident I've actually managed to wire this up correctly this time. Below that, we've got this stage. This is the main stage. This is a inflatable heat shield. 
inside here we've got a bunch of batteries which are then meant for the gilly lander so we can take these off and stick those on also while i remember i am just going to put on some ducking ports that again i am intending to take off and stick on the gilly lander for use of attaching it to the ground once this has done that little refuel of gilly and also be in orbit around Gilly to get the missions. It's got Science Junior in there and the uh, Magnetometer. I'm then going to try and splash this down in EVE. So aiming for the C. Not ready to get any science in there particularly, although I can send a little bit back. Mostly just doing that to check off the mission. And otherwise I've just stuck this whole thing on a massive solid core booster should have plenty of delta v to get to where we need to accidentally click launch i meant to go to return but just recovered it off the pad where you didn't lose much at all i am just gonna go advanced time until we are again ready to do a direct launch out although we're almost there to be honest i'm just gonna strut this thing together while i remember Okay, but otherwise this should be fairly straightforward. I'm just going to do a pure vertical ascent again. So, let's go. Okay, next stage. Be leaving the atmosphere so I can get rid of fairing. I don't think I actually put a strong enough engine on this stage because we're actually lowering our orbital speed here. Now perhaps this is still climbing slowly, slowly. Okay, orbital velocity is starting to increase again. So yeah, if I were to redesign this, I'd definitely put a stronger engine on this stage. We do have Delta V to play with. I think we let off a fair bit there, but... Oh, we're getting there. Apoapsis is starting to climb again. Speed is starting to increase. We're in a good way. And main stage. Okay. Still got one half thousand delta V. Hopefully that will be enough for what we need to do. Is we're in a solar orbit. And so first part of this, we're going to decouple this little stage. Uh, slightly annoyingly, that decoupled in a bit of a weird way, and the heat shield is still within its protective cover. Arg. Hopefully we'll be able to fix that with the kerbals at the mining rig. If not, this thing might get a bit toasty on entry. This stage, though, is functional. For us, this is a ion engine. And so I've got half hour burn time. So I'm going to put this in high speed and go get a cup of tea. And I hadn't realized that it was in fact edge on to the sun. So I wasn't getting enough electric charge. And so it was very, very low power. So uh, that was a bit of a waste. Now starting it off once again. So there we go, after far too much waiting. That is one half of the manoeuvre done. We now have to crack the rest of it. Okay, now just a 34 minute burn. Okay, we managed to get within the required coordinates. So that means we just need to turn this on. And we can just leave this working away. And if nothing else, it is another relay satellite in a rather close in orbit. It's actually ended up being pretty much next to MOHO. To the point I'm slightly concerned that at some point it is going to collide with MOHO. So we jump back over to the other HES module and we do our manoeuvre. And yet we're already starting to map asteroids. Mapping them really quite fast. There we go. That's actually completed before the other stage has even got to its position. Okay, now we've got a manoeuvre to give us a gilly intercept. I don't know if we're going to have enough delta V to stop, but we'll just have to see. Wasted a hell of a lot of delta V getting to uh, orbit with that overly weak drive. 
You have insufficient Delta V to break around Gilly. Not far off. 300 Delta V off. That is not going to be an option. Getting that weird bug where I can't change the focus again. Okay, I'm going to try for a 70 kilometer braking, aero braking maneuver. We'll just have to see how that goes. We do have a tiny little signal, even with the antenna retracted. But we've got no way to inflate the heat shield until the outer stage comes off. So I don't think this is going to end well. Let's get ready for some fireworks. Nope. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. Inflate heat shield. That's actually perfect. Yeah, for some reason all the controls are backwards, but otherwise that's fine. Which is fine, I just need to hold it on surface retrograde. Okay, we're on our way back up. This whole thing may just about be salvageable. So rather confusing, the controls are still backwards. I thought I reset it, but clearly not. Okay, but the roof has plenty of fuel. So it should be able to get to the other unit without too much bother. It's late problem with intercept. I forgot to turn off the resource processor, so I'm out of battery and I'm in the dark. At the end of the world, I'm just going to fast forward time to over here where we'll be in the light again. It's two things together. So now I should start shipping the parts over. Genard here can go EVA. Hopefully he has enough room in his backpack for a battery. Oh, you're joking, he doesn't. Damn it. Okay, that's fine, I just need to get the two things right alongside each other then. Just be safe, I'm going to take him back. Yeah, there we go. That should hopefully be close enough. I think I just nudged it on the way out there, so I'm just going to nudge it back. So it's slowly drifting apart. Okay, I managed to get some of the components shifted over. I'm going to call that a win. Going to have a very, very low energy collision here because attaching the parts does some weird things with physics. Now this section has lots more electric charge than it used to. Hopefully that will be enough for it to be able to do its job. It's still got 1450 delta V. Should be enough to get it back to Gilly. So most of my remaining Fuel, just to circularize a little bit. Not fully, just a little bit. And then uh, it's time to see if we can get this to splash down in EVE, so aiming for one of the oceans. Okay, so most of this part of the planet is water, so if I aim for here I should hit water. We are landing on the dark side. Hopefully... We've got enough heat shielding. I'm oh, sorry, hopefully we've got enough battery to deal with that. I forgot to eject the antenna. Or to close the antenna, which messed us up there a little bit. Lost the engine, but that's really no big deal. It's more of a big deal as I'm a bit worried that we're going to overshoot and hit down here. So as soon as the parachutes can be deployed, I'm going to deploy them. Or am I? I actually want to go a bit further, so I'm going to... Get rid of that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Looks like we're going to hit the water. Still up 20 kilometers to fall. This thing barely needs parachutes. Oh, just the one deployed parachute is enough to completely arrest our descent. We're almost completely at 6 meters per second. A very, very nice calm landing. Okay, and I'll just let that go at normal speed because I don't trust Eve with its time warping. There we go, we have landed. Counts down and splashing down at Eve. We all transmitted all the data there. I've realised that I completely forgot about the going to Gilly part of the mission, but anyway, at least this part is successful. Right, and otherwise, last thing to do today then is try and get this back to Gilly to get those science experiments that we left off.
We're all now. Time to initiate a landing on Eve slash uh, Gilly slash docking with Gilly because it's pretty much what this is like. And with the surface really glitching out there, I'm just trying to gently set her down. And I think I see one of the ridge line things there. A distance. Could also be another one over there. I'm going to go for that one, actually. Yeah, and very slowly move towards what I hope is a ridge line. Creep a little bit closer to it. A little out of range. There we go, scan Gilly Ridge Line. Take a little sample. Do a little bit of drilling. And we've got it. Transmit Daisy for a hundred percent. Done. So may as well transmit the data we've got in the mobile processing lab. Okay, next mission, get 500 units of fresh ore from Gilly. Good point, drill and brakes on full. And start resource processing at the same time. And I just have to convince this thing that I am in fact stationary. There we go. And just spam the button enough that that's complete. And then if we just leave that working, that will mine those 500 units and refresh all of its fuel. Can nip out and plant the flag on Gilly afterwards. Gonna leave that to do its own thing though. So all in all, pretty successful. So we've got all of the comets at 75 grand. 15 asteroids, 325 grand. Uh, we've done our first rendezvous manoeuvre and we've splashed down around Gilly around Eve, explored Eve with that splashdown, 360 grand. And we've finally got that Gilly Ridgeline thing, 125 grand. So that put our finances in a much better situation than before. We've got plenty of science in the bank, more on the way. And I think next time we're gonna have another crack at this manned return mission. So if you're looking forward to that, please do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe all really does help. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and everyone else. Cheers.